Welcome back to my channel. What's up, everyone? Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. And I do want to go ahead and ask for as many prayers and good vibes going towards Louisiana, Alabama, even Arkansas. If you could just lift people up right now because the hurricane took out and really has changed um has really changed things where I live and in other areas as well. Now, I was extremely blessed during this time. I don't know how it happened. I kept you guys updated on my Instagram um even in the middle of the storm. It actually helped me feel better being able to reach out um in a way I felt like not as scared. I know this sounds silly. But having that communication with you guys, thank you for your support. Um, but at one point, my daughter and I got in the hallway. It got so bad, we were we were nervous. Um, we were extremely blessed, like I said, and fortunate. Our power never went out. It flickered. It went on and off, on and off. It did go on on, like it went out. It kept flickering, if you will. And then it would, sur we surged maybe two to three times. But... Um, Ultimately, we have water, we have power, and it's a heat advisory right now. So even my parents don't have power or water. Um, well, my parents have water now. They got water today. But just lift lift us up, everyone up. Um, I wish I could do more and I'm, you know, join some sort of relief program, natural disaster relief. Or um, in my eyes, I see I make a crock pot full of food and like giving um food to my friends and family and just offering a place for them to come shower or you know I have offered and opened my home um but you know people are proud um as well around here and this isn't something what that Louisiana Louisiana is not used to like we get storms <laughs> storms like this happen all the t like often so I mean after a while you kind of get numbs to it a bit but at the same time when it's happening in the moment it it's still it still can be um riveting <laughs> if you will <laughs> it was i love storms that's the thing uh, don't let me okay i'll go stop going on my rant but just lift lift the lift people up um prayers are greatly appreciated and um to those of you that went through this i'm so sorry and I'm here if you want to chat, you know, if there's something I can do to help someone, let me know. But two minutes in, let's get going. So if you notice, I am in my pocket still. Uh, I myself am surprised. I thought maybe I'd move out of it after the week. I've been switching things around weekly, um, it feels like, um, or monthly, I guess. And it's coming on to a new month. So um I'm going to stick with the pocket. I'm hoping to get through September in the pocket planning and I really have been enjoying it again and it's super um it's very functional for me and it's and it's not just like planning functional, it's just my day-to-day -day routine now that I'm back at work and you know just how life is and my daughter's in school again like you know, um, we're starting to build our routines again. So it's a lot easier to carry with me. So it's been super functional being able to carry smaller bags if I want or just throw it in there. I don't, things aren't as heavy as they were. Now, granted, I carry, you guys, I carry around an A5. Now, I only, I only carry this to work though um, because it's work related, but I, okay, Listen, I actually really enjoy this too. I fell in love. So I have an A5 Stylogy and it's super thin and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So it has, it has all my work stuff in it, but I like this so much that I can see myself trying out the A5 size as a full-on planner as well. I really could see that, but I do carry this for work, but anytime I want to go anywhere during um, the weekend or just shopping or whatever, all I have to do is carry this in my keys and I'm good. Um, but I am a purse girl, so I like to use purses. It's just like my thing, I guess. <clears throat> and I have this cute little coach purse 
mini bag, I guess you could say. And this fits in it, and my key, I mean, it's perfect. I like being able to carry those cute bags. Okay, sorry. It's going to be a ranty kind of day. <clears throat> so, recently, I've been keeping my pin on clipped on the front because my inserts are 110% from pocket size. So, that means they're going to come out or flush to the side. I personally like that look. Um, even in my Gilio personal size planners, you see that in my planners. Like, that's why I love Gilio. Well, there's a lot of reasons why, but that's one of the reasons. So, ta isn't she cute? Oh, gosh. Every time I open her up, I'm just like, I love you. But I did, I haven't really had to change much about my, uh, change much of my guts because it's all everything here is functional you of course you got something pretty i just added this today i found it i was looking through my die cuts um that i used to use to deco decorate my planners i have like a lot of um fall stuff and i was just looking through seeing what i wanted to do but i'm i'm so into like the you know more simple deco so um a little glitter here and there but i'm so glad i found this um I'm sorry, I, I'm digressing again. But anyway, I was using my, I tried out my um, Foxy Fix pocket rings with the 30mm rings. And it was nice. And I actually ended up making this because of it. And I, I'm glad I did. I actually am using it in all my planners now. But I made this little, like, pocket holder um, because I'm not trying to spend money, if that makes sense. Um, just so I want to use what I have. Um... So this was from a standard tan. Like I, you can see it, like it's properly made. <laughs> um, I made some dashboards for my standard tan when I was using it and um, not well. I guess I had like my laminate was going through, through some things. Uh, but anyway, I cut it down to size uh, or to what size I wanted. It's a little bigger than like a pocket insert or even like my inserts. Um, but I put two Target dollar spot pockets on the top, and then I have like the sec secretarial situation back here. So I have my um, dock grid post-its, and then I was able to have my cards pointing this way. Okay, why don't I just use like proper words? I'm sorry. Um, I guess horizontal, they call these horizontal pockets to me and I guess the ones that are like this are vertical. Like for some reason I've always find, found that like backwards, but Anyway, um, so my Foxy Fix didn't have horizontal pockets, but I like my cards to go horizontally. So I made that and it's been so nice and it protects the cards and everything. So, and it also has added to like the aesthetic of the, um, front pockets. Okay. Post-its. I use those. This is a hexagon and the, um, that's not a hexagon. That has one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> anyway, um, these are from like the last box, and then this is from the most recent box. We have more like blush colors, I guess, light pinks, things like that. Um, I love the neutral. That's why I go for cloth and paper. Now, um, you could probably find this stuff on AliExpress. I'm gonna be honest. This was from this box. This was from the last box. So, um, I really love their packaging and just their vibe. So that's, I mean, that's what I'm really paying for is like their whole vibe. Um, I think that's what, well, you know, part of having a planner shop and things like that is you personalize things, you personalize it and make it your own. And that's what you really are buying is like the person behind the product. Um, anyway, so in the pocket, I have my hundred. I've got my key still. I've talked about this on live and how I use it and um, my page flags, which I now put on the side like this because I what I did, you guys, is I took some of my old personal uh, dividers that, again, I crappily made. <laughs> um, my friend made my friend Francis made me like the tab and she gave me the tab and then I crappily like laminated them. <laughs> and punched them and this was before I had like a good hole punch and I was like doing it with like a hand punch like with single punches I mean y'all that's how I used to do everything everything was extremely handmade and like I would hand 
punch everything with a whole punch, like a single hole punch. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> I had so much fun though. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I just cut those down and pun hold punched them. And I mean, it's not beautiful, but it works. And I'm really not right now. I love how this has turned out and I hadn't had to pay a lot of money for it. So that's been a plus. So I did want to say, um, get going into my, um, pages here but I did get in this box quite a few uh beautiful inserts and I'm glad I went pocket because I probably will go back to this pocket the original pocket size I've always liked it um I just wanted to go a little bigger because I've been used to bigger pages for a while so I was like easing back into it but I can see myself going this size again so I think by October I should be moving into this size so September I'm gonna finish out with this size you guys and then October I'm probably gonna redo everything and um, just move the information over and go to this original pocket size so I really like having that as an option so I have my October ready to go and I'm actually gonna do something different this guys this time is I'm going to set it up with all new stuff like make it just pimp okay um, I'm even going to get some like fall colors, I think, and probably use this planner. I'm just going to be honest, but um, I'm excited. But anyway, sorry. So, inbox section is still the same. Um, I haven't really changed too much, you guys. I just streamlined it a bit. But um, yeah, I've got my index still here. I've got things I need to change on that. Um, reoccurring tasks for August, things, you know, I want to have a reoccurring task insert like look this is why I have this posted right now is I'm actually going to be printing this stuff out today so I need to and I have this in pocket size so that's what all this is I've got to okay I actually did this oh wait I'm so sorry this is supposed to go on my reoccurring tasks insert Never mind. That's the information I'm putting into it. <laughs> um, I'm the architect of days that haven't happened yet. I liked it. Um, if this is a normal pocket size here. You can see how much bigger my inserts are. Um, I do like the bigger size. I will be honest. It's nice. It's fun. I like that it comes flush to the side in my planner. And it also makes like the planner just, I don't know, the bulk of it is more even. Like just balanced, I guess, in my eyes. Okay, inbox card, I decided to use them like this, love it, I'm not gonna lie. My main, like, I don't write too much in my planner inbox. If I need to, like, just get ideas out or whatnot, I'll use my, uh, like, Styology or something like that, or a booklet. But I just, um, any kind of ideas I may have, like, Start up a planner Facebook group, that kind of stuff. I put it in the inbox, but this is going to end up being on goals. So I'm probably going to get my goals card and put it here. You know, information needs to be transferred. Um, that's what I do at the end of every week or month is, or bi-weekly. It just depends on my mood, to be honest. But because I'm going into September soon, I'm going to, like, get all this information transferred to its proper place. I got some post-its here that came in this month's box. This little dude is my tab. I added that, this stuff I added. So this, these right here in front of the list section, these are actually like my important lists. This all in my eyes are part of my inbox. So you have the inbox here and then you've got add to planner, to buy, wish list, waiting on, and someday maybe, like these two especially. Um, just to me flow into the inbox so this is all inbox and then this is lists and notes so just stuff I need to research and all that and I just got a few of those because I like having it and I wrote a song a planner girl song <laughs> I really did I'll sing it for you guys one day I'm so shy but it's pretty funny um <laughs> Like, look, I'm a planet girl in a hectic world. Life is crazy. I'm so lazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I literally was like bored. Um, and I just got the Barbie song stuck in my head. And then I wrote that to go with it. <laughs> yeah. 
I totally embarrassed myself, but that's okay. Five minutes to peak productivity. I still have productivity. I still haven't printed out the other two sheets for this, but I'll get to it. Let's go ahead and add it to this because today is my planner day. I have to I have to put aside a whole day for my planner and it's like my me time, I guess you could say. Um, okay, productivity, productivity, printables. Okay, online orders, haven't bought anything. Okay, self-care isn't selfish. All right, so we've got this guy under here. It's so smooth, and I just taped that on top. I really want to get dividers that are nice or make some that are nice for this size insert. I'm not really loving like how this is starting to wear. I like a little more, I want it to last longer, I guess you could say. I mean, it works fine for now. I don't hate it. Anyway, monthly still looks the same, you guys. I just have more stuff on it. So my monthlies go this way and I love it. I love the look of it. I like being able to have a quick view and be like, okay, so, what does this represent? I'll go over here, it's family. It kind of jump starts my brain. And then for any kind of details, I'll just turn to its spot here. Um, I got the perpetual. I really like this vibe. It may be weird for some, but I like it. Mm, 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 mm. You know, I guess in a way it'd be the same as, or if I, or if you prefer a layout that has um, the, month on two page like I'm used to that like this is something new for me this year actually not this year the past couple of months I've been doing the whole month on one page even in my personal size rings I've been kind of going for that vibe I guess making it work but if you wanted to use a month on two pages you could and then have a page for like details it'd still be three pages for your month but you could have the nice view and big boxes bigger boxes and then have that one page numbered from 1 to 31 or you know front and back 1 to 31 whatever and have it in between the sorry anyway so that's what this is for so many options my brain goes crazy when I start talking about my planner um so I just have all the way until July, well, pretty much June of next year. All right, because I do plan ahead, like way ahead. Okay, so weekly um, is my favorite spot. I've got this little guy for like cleaning. I've got my zones and everything. But to be really real with you guys, I don't really use this. Um, sometimes I will. Sometimes. But for me, it's just easier to write it into the dailies because I enjoy writing. That's just one of my, I enjoy this so much. It's my happy place that I'll just rewrite it in my dailies or write it on a post-it like this. So I'm thinking of taking this out, but I'm going to leave it in a couple, at least a couple more days and see if I end up using it or not. If not, I'm just going to take it out. But I do like, you know, it's fun. It's, it's a very interactive way, but to me, it's just pointless. I prefer to write it in my daily. So um, anyway, going into the weeklies. Okay, this was the first time I used it. Yep. And this is this week. So we're going to have a little change for next week. So I don't know if you recall, if you've watched my last um, live, I was trying some new weeklies along with these. I knew I love these. These work. Um, I actually have them out until I think. October to the 1st of November yeah um but um I wanted to use this guy and I liked it like I love this like this I love I love being able to have my meal planning whether and then like a whole week view of my schedule I loved that and you know I even liked this I didn't need I don't need this side so I think if I decide to use this it's going to be in pair with the inserts I already have in my weekly, but it would just be this side. So I'd want to somehow print this side and the other side together. I, I don't know. I guess, oh, I could just turn it over, turn the paper over. But um, 
I could do that, but instead I took those inserts out and I decided to make it a little more fun for myself because if I have too much structure, I get bored. Um, that's just how it is. So next week that I'm about to plan, I actually decided to cut down some um, extra inserts that I had. They were like bigger than normal size pocket, but someone sent me a bunch of these and they're actually very thick, nice paper and they have cute little designs on them. So I cut them down as a half sheet, I guess, um, or what do they call this? A quarter sheet or something? Um, to me that's half because it's like, Anyway, I decided to do this so I could put my meals on here and my weather. Um, just pretty much the stuff that I was doing on this insert that just, you know, to me didn't flow as well if, as if I had it in the middle of this week. I like it kind of all together, I guess you could say. Does that make sense? But anyway, um, here. And then I started getting some other ideas. Like I could even put my schedule here. Um, I just, I think I can fit a whole week here and just have very thin lines of like my schedule. So I can have like a weekly view of what my schedule is. Um, I just like having a weekly view. I already in my dailies have this. Okay. Because I enjoy that since my past days. Um, Friday and then today. I enjoy doing this, but because I love my dailies, it's my fun page. Um, but I really enjoy the full week. So I think I'm going to do that. I don't necessarily need to have like all the cute stickers and stuff. So I, don't need... I could just put those on my daily. And then let's see. I could probably take, let's go to the, actually, let's go ahead and go to... I could probably do like two boxes per day. Mm, maybe like one and a half. Monday. Okay, so I couldn't have Sunday. If I put them right next to each other though, I could do that. It so it just be line. It, it would just just be the schedule, the color code schedule. So I guess um, I need to think about that. If you have any ideas, or I or I could just um, find an insert that is just that one page of like a weekly schedule. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right. So sorry about that. Moving on. So you just saw my dailies. And this is today. So I enjoy, I just made this guy out of, again, an old um, divider, personal size divider. I turned all the tabs, um, all the tabs from these into floating tabs um, for like my other, my stayologies and things like that. Um, but this is like a top loading, just, you know, repurposed. And so the water will be put on my Sunday day page. It'll be left there because of my weekly reviews. So then we'll go into September dailies. And I like keeping my dailies in my planner. It's fun to look at. I like flipping through them. Work, again, I need to print some more of those out. I have that included here. Um, I actually need to print a few more dailies. I think I only need to print like two because I want to have the whole month in there. Dailies. Okay. Um, this has been nice to have. I do use my A5 Stayology, but this is where I put, like, my schedule and just lunch break just and tasks that I need to do. It, it makes it easy, and um, I don't have to pull out my A5 to um, log my information. Um, I can end up adding this to it at the end of the year or whatnot. Um, tracking. Love this section. For September, this is going to probably be weather. Um, or if I come up with something fun, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to come up with some fun way for monthlies. 
And then uh, this type of monthly. Um, sleep is still doing the same. I started using X's, got tired of using <laughs> the highlighter. It's, it's a lot easier just to carry one pin around, just functionally. I do carry this around with me at work. Oh, excuse me. I do carry this to work with me. But um, it has a lot of stuff. But um, ultimately, I just try and carry one pin. And then... My mood is really nice. I love this so much. I'll do this again next month for sure, September. And I'm going to go live to set all this up, okay? Um, so, and like I mentioned, for September, I wanted to add something a little more fun to my tracking. And then I've got my um, social media, so I'll add this video if it ends up actually loading properly. That's why I haven't been doing many, because I haven't been able to, oddly. So... Um, my daughter section is probably one of the biggest sections. Um, we've just got a responsibility log, um, some Toma River paper dot grid, um, to write down notes about her day and how, um, I handled myself with her and how she handled herself when we have like an altercation or something. Just trying to really find, um, get to know my child and what her love language is and like, you know what I mean? And I, I need to really focus on that and I've just got like these random notes in here this is like her schedule and then i've got um school stuff is going in here i haven't put it in there yet that's something i actually have to add like i said i've got to update my planner it's getting close to the next month so i have that monthly update um spiritual or this is more i use this more like a review um i do have prayer in here i do have uplifting affirmations this is like my positive place and it's a review of the day um of each day just a little tidbit of went went down and how i handled it um trying to find the joy in each day pretty much i want to keep things as positive in our lives as we can um so this is kind of what this is and i love it so much and I, i'll have a pros and cons at the end of the week and i mean it's just good i really enjoy it i've added the best parts of my theology and the best parts of rings together and it's really made me quite happy it's such a portable size so um fortunately i do write small i can anyway so i have posted stickers pictures in here it's like my private section so and then passwords in this little booklet and that's all i carry i have um i mean it's a lot in one little bag a planner don't you think in the back i have cash i mean i just carry my pen here versus on the side and I'm fine with it so um, if you're interested in planning with me join me on my live that I'm going to do later today and um, this is Saturday August 29th 2020 all right I love you guys so much until next time bye